All right, guys, this is your Bitcoin and crypto news for 326 2018. A little bit of a sell off in the market, nothing crazy. I still think those lows that we tested in any name in particular has been kind of weak, and I think we do get sold. So when we start here, um, we're gonna look at the whole crypto space. You see cryptocurrency is 1,587. So that number has been increasing. Um, we are at 1,566. Um, I don't see where you can, um, I thought you could click on it and it can show a chart of how many crypto has been added. But actually what's really cool here is you can, if you click this, this so if you go to coinmarketcap.com and you click the coins right here, so you see that, you click it, and then you can see a list of all of them with your percentage gains in uh, one hour, 24 hours, and then seven days. So that's pretty cool here. And then you see the volume, Bitcoin volume about 5 billion. So we see here uh, over the last seven days, Bitcoin down 3%. And we talked about Ethereum down 10, Ripple down 11. EOS has been on fire up 17%. Um, Tron, you know, it's got up to like what, 30 cents or something like that. Um, Tron's up to. So it's kind of cool to see this. Um, Binance coin has been on fire along some Binance. Verge, another cheaper one. Okay, so let's go back in here. So right when we look at the volume, usually, usually we're around 14 billion. So this number doesn't really strike me. So this is something really interesting. You know, I use this a lot in my trading is look at, you know, volume and the higher the volume, um, the more action is going on, the lower the volume, obviously the less volume. So we see here uh, about 13, we're at, usually around 14 billion, we're at 13 and a half billion right now for the volume over the last 24 hours. Market cap, 310, and we see Bitcoin dominance around 44. Um, this has gotten as high as 90%, it's gotten as low as 33. When we go into the market cap here, um, we have seen a little bit of a sell off here. I haven't put any money to work in the last couple of days. Um, I'm still sitting on a lot of cash. So here we see on seven, in the last seven days, we are on the lows um, in the last seven days. So, you know, talking about this every single time I get on, are you a hodler or you're a trader? If you're a trader, there are longs with tight stop losses. Um, if you're a, a hodler, you know, putting money to work here probably makes sense. So we see here, um, we are in the lows of the last seven days. When we go into that monthly is when we see that possible double bottom here around the 260 billion, uh, 280 billion market cap. So we're only, you know, if the market crypto market sells off another 10%, that is when we get into what is the recent lows in the market space here in the cryptocurrencies, which is around 280 billion. So just kind of keep that in mind, guys. That is the level in the sand. If we break that level, it, stuff could get ugly. Um, I think that we are gonna break that level to the downside. Um, <laughs> I'm not short cryptos, I'm long cryptos, but I think that we do break that to the downside. So that 270 billion market cap. Bitcoin dominance you know, continues. Bitcoin continues to be pretty strong relative to the whole market. Um, we're at like 44% here. So you can see here, bottomed out probably around 33.8 in January. So 33.8 in January bottomed out at down here. And now we're at 44. We're obviously up at um, 52 in December. So now I kind of just want to go through my portfolio and see how my portfolio performed over the weekend. I'm assuming most likely it's probably down a little bit, but let's go into it. Drive portfolio. Okay. And I was at negative thirty four eight three six. Okay, work coin. Bitcoin down 209. IOTA. My IOTA. 123. Golem. 23, that's fine. ZRX. 
Neo. Neo down at $58. Wow. Crazy. Nimic. Nimic token exchange. 198. 8 share. Oh, that's not 8 share. It's hush. Hmm. 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 Black Cat. Black Cat 61. EU. EMC2, Verge, Goras, 8 share. 622. AGI, I'm sure, hasn't really moved. I've not bought it any more AGI. It's down to 16 cents. So, so 16 cents. And then Pivx. 379. And Binance. 1163. So PL, you can see lost about six thousand dollars over the weekend. I only have seventy eight thousand dollars of risk. So I haven't put any money to risk more. Um PL is going lower though, so let's get rid of this. And go back in here. Okay, so let's kind of look at the markets. Gainers, we should see market sold off a little bit, and then we're gonna look at Bitcoin on uh 15 minute bar and stuff like that. So we see here, um, if we go into Quinnick Cap, the beginning, and then we go to trending. So gainers. So I always like to see and go into the gainers and losers to see if I notice anything. Um, I've heard of any of these games. Nothing, 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 nothing. I've heard of Digi, this one. I think so, DGD, let's see what market cap it is. Market cap here is number 26, 26. Have we done that, Coin Mastery on that? Um, so nothing in the top 30. Bottom 30, um, losers, Bitcoin X, Candy, Vertasium, Vertasium down 17%. Potassium down 17%. Um, do, 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 nothing. Really nothing here. I've heard of metal before. A lot of guys on YouTube like metal. Um, and then it went straight down. <laughs> then you don't hear about it on YouTube anymore when they're done talking about it. So, you know, for the most part, um, don't really see much in the gainers and losers. Um, let's go to look at Bitcoin on the daily. So Bitcoin on TradingView. So here's Bitcoin guys, and we're gonna start here by looking at the monthly chart. So monthly chart here in Bitcoin. You know, if we hold that level from February, so I'm more concerned, and we have end of the quarter is on Friday. Actually, end of the quarter would be on Saturday. So end of the quarter is Saturday, and we see here um, the low, was fourth, wow, this is really the low was 6,000 exactly. So here's a chart of Bitcoin on the monthly chart. And 6,000 was the low. So that's a doji candle, possible short-term low um, in Bitcoin on the monthly chart at 6,000. So, you know, we used to talk about time and target if I was to get long Bitcoin and I wanted to put a stop, I would put my stop under 6,000 here on the monthly chart. If I was holding it for like, you know, wanted to hold it for the next six months to a year. So you gotta always combine your time frame with 
how much time you want to give it. So this is a monthly chart. If you wanted to hold something for six months to a year, you're going to want to look at the monthly chart. So we see a low in here at 6,000. I think that will hold. I think we break through this month's low. The low here is 72.40. So we're about, um, about $800 away from that. Um, a bearish candle here. We are making a higher low um, on the daily, on the monthly chart. So that's at least good. Let's go now look at the weekly. Weekly chart, you know, overlapping bars. We're above the cloud here on the weekly chart. Um, I still think, I think we will take out 7240. I do not think we take out 6000. So if you had to say like, you know, AK, what's your prediction on what we think Bitcoin does? I think in the short term, you know, all the sentiment has changed. You know, we always talk about supply demand curves and anything in this world, all it's worth is what, what someone's willing to pay for it and what someone's willing to sell it for. So we see that the demand is just not there right now. And you can say it's regulation. Um, yeah, so it probably is a regulation. Um, so we just don't see a huge demand for Bitcoin in the crypto space now. Uh, back in September, when we, you know, started sending trade alerts, um, you know, everything was on fire. It was really easy to 10x stuff, um, and now, you know, it's just sitting in the mud. No one wants this space. Uh, we're still sitting at 310 billion. Um, I think it's going to be a 10 trillion dollar market cap in three to five years. But, you know, we are in this area, guys, where it's really, really hard to be long, you know? Um, and unfortunately, you can't short it. You know, like, I took two trades for the trading room today. I shorted Apple and I shorted Tesla. And you can short, you know, things on, you know, you can short Apple, you can short Tesla. Unfortunately, in the cryptocurrency space, you can't short things. Um, and I could short Bitcoin futures, actually, on Thinkorswim, but I would not be looking for longs um, as trades, and that's why, you know, it's challenging, it's, it's tough. Um, you know, what I thought, you know, a portfolio, a basket um, was gonna work out well, I've been losing money on. And to be completely honest, I'm down a lot in cryptos. And am I mad about it? I mean, no, I did exactly what you're supposed to do in trading. You're supposed to make money, make more money, and then more money you make, you scale your position higher and higher, and it just hasn't worked out. You know, there's nothing I can do about it, but you know, in the short term, it's really, really hard to be long. Um, I was talking to Mark about his signals and he's like, you know, this, we're not in a market to be, and we're not in a bull market where you, every chart is bearish. So with that being said, um, here's Bitcoin on the weekly chart. What I think we'll do in Bitcoin, I think we break um, 7,200 to the downside, but I do not think we'll crack 6,000. So that would be my prediction here, um, as I think that we break 7,200, but we don't break 6,000. Then we go to the daily chart here. Daily chart continues to be under the cloud. Um, let's change these down here to the daily. Bold set. And the weekly. We know the weekly is gonna be above the cloud. So Bitcoin did break the daily right here at uh, 8023, it was not a triple confirmation. So, um, I see that going. Oh, it got better. So we did break the cloud to the downside at uh, right here. It would, that technically would have been a short on the daily. Um, let's kind of back it out here and see when was the last time it was above the cloud on the daily. So we are above the cloud back in. So Bitcoin has not been above the cloud since January 9th. So, you know, Ichimoku King and Hoi, I talk about this all the time. If you're in the cloud, you're neutral. If you're below the cloud, you're bearish. And if you're above the cloud, you're bullish. So on the daily chart, guys, we have not been above the cloud since January 9th. So technically, you know, Bitcoin is just in bearish territory. Um, it's hard to say anything besides, you know, the stock market's on bearish territory too. So it's just harder. Okay. Um, let's go here and fasten it up a little bit to the hourly. And then the hourly, we could look at a triple confirmation to see if there was a possible short setup. And I click this here. And I move it to the two hour, three hour, and daily. So triple confirmation, we are in the short setups here. Um, could have shorted it right there at 85.80. So that was a nice short here. 
So when we look at the triple confirmation here on the bottom, the first thing we look at is the hourly, then we look at the two hour, the three hour, and the daily. So these are all lining up short. So we can see here, it was a short as it broke the cloud to the downside at 8,500. So that right there is a short at 8,500. Stop would have been 8,900. So you would have risked 400 to make 400, and you would have made $400. So that would have been a really nice trade here in Bitcoin on the hourly chart. Uh, let's go to the 15 minute bar. That's my favorite time frame to trade it on. And let me go in here. So 15, 30, hourly and two hour. So this is the 15 minute bar. And we had that triple confirmation short right here. Uh, actually it was not a short here. Triple confirmation short right here at 84.47. Do you see any correlation between cryptos and the US dollar, which continues to go down? Um, no, I don't. The correlation in theory <coughs> should be, <coughs> should be as dollar goes down, crypto should go higher. Because if people don't trust the dollar, um, then they're gonna rotate into cryptos. But I actually have not seen much of a correlation in that. So that's a very good question though, between the dollar and, um, Bitcoin. I would think as Bitcoin as US dollar goes lower, Bitcoin and crypto should go higher. Okay. So this is Bitcoin here on the 15 minute bar, and we see, yes, it broke the cloud to the downside here. Unfortunately, on the daily chart, it was neutral. So that wouldn't have been a setup. But this right here would have been a short on the 15 minute bar, and we can see that was a nice profitable trade. So you could have shorted on the 15 minute bar there. Um, stop would have been above the cloud and you would have made nice little profit targets there. Um, so that's Bitcoin basically on the monthly, on the weekly, on the daily. Um, now we can kind of look at a couple more. Uh, we sent out a signal in Ethereum. That one has not been profitable. Um, at 535, let's go start with the monthly chart. Here's the monthly chart here in Ethereum. So Ethereum uh, should have massive, massive support around the, I mean, it's a lot lower, but around the 280 level. So if I was looking to swing trade Ethereum, um, I would put my stop, I would give it, you know, if I was looking for a year out, I would put a stop at, you know, down half. So if you're looking at it, when, you know, when we, like I said, guys, when we're looking at different charts, you gotta line up when you want to hold, what's your holding period with what time period. So on the monthly chart, if I was to buy Ethereum, let's say at 482, I know there's massive support at around 300 level, 280 to 300, consolidating bars, buyers should step in here. My stop loss would be about 240, maybe 241. So 241 stop loss, and then if I wanted to, I would have targets here at around 750. There's a longer way to take it. Um, so that's the monthly chart. Let's go speed it up a little bit and look at the weekly chart. Weekly chart, you know, still bullish here, still above the cloud. Ethereum's gone from 1600 to about 480. So we continue to talk about, you know, there is a website. I don't know the name of the website where you can go and look at how much. Um, it sold off from the highs. So Ethereum, if it, the high was 1600 and now it's trading 500, that's roughly about 70% it sold off from the highs. So if you put $10,000 in Ethereum at 1600, okay, um, so if you put $10,000 at 1600, you would only have about 3,000 of this 10,000 left. So, you know, even though, I'm down in cryptos. Thankfully, I wasn't buying the, the top of it. And I'm sure there are people that did buy the top of it. So Ethereum here on the weekly chart. Let's move it up to the daily. Daily, like I talked about, is under the cloud here. Um, broke the cloud to the downside right here at 483. Another short right here at 924. Really? I don't want to look at it on Kraken. Can I look at it on a Coinbase? Yeah, let's see that one. Okay, so this is on um, Coinbase instead. 
but broke the cloud to the downside right here, short at 700, broke the cloud to the downside here again at 900. You know, the only saving grace for Ethereum in the short term is that Doji candle, which I do think it gets taken out. Um, like I said, we sent a signal out in Ethereum at 535 uh, with a stop loss at 435, um, you know, hoping that level holds. If that level does not hold, you're in a lot of trouble because let's see, the level here is 450. So if that level does not hold, we can retest, what's this low? 460. We can retest, uh, see there's a, there is a lot of um, support at this level, around the 440 level. If we don't break it to the downside, it could go down to 200 pretty quickly. So, you know, for the most part, um, you know, as we see here, this is Ethereum on the daily chart. I think Ethereum, I, I think Ethereum does break 450. Um, I think there's just too much bad sentiment. And that's really the only thing that's really affected it and changed stuff in the stock market. And um, not only in the stock market, but you know, in the crypto space. You know, the sentiment is now really, really bearish. No one wants to be in the space. And it's just, it's hard, you know, if you're a believer in the space. You know, tech bubble, probably the same way. People came in and were like, you know, didn't like technology, so uh, the internet. So let's look at a ripple here. Uh, actually, I actually speed it up here a little bit and look at the hourly. Hourly, same thing, a lot of selling pressure. And we can get rid of this. Two hour, three hour, and daily. Is it a triple confirmation, basically? Um, triple confirmation short right here. That was a good signal and a winner. 523. Triple confirmation short right here. That was a winner at around 518. So two triple confirmations short in Ethereum on the hourly bar. So hour, two hour, three hour, and daily. And let's see if we sped it up to the 15. And then I'll probably have a chance to look at uh, Ripple real quick. Oops. So this is the 15. This is the 30, this is the hourly, and then the two hour. So you can see uh, short right here, but it was not a triple confirmation. So not really. So, you know, how to play this and how to look at the space is, you know, we continue to move lower, guys. It's, it's hard if you're bullish the space. Okay, let's look at Ripple real quick. Ripple on the 15, I talked about buying Ripple at, at 68 with a stop at 48. You know, all these charts are gonna look the same. We are so heavily correlated right now on these charts. If we take out, if we, you know, don't, if we take out these lows, I think it's gonna, what happen is we're gonna take out these lows, oops, we're gonna take out these lows, okay? And then you're gonna have a reversal hammer candle somewhere here-ish. So this is Ripple, you know, Ripple to the buy. You know, if I was looking to buy Ripple, I know where my defined stop is. And this is the only reason it's really, really good um, if I wanted to be buying these cryptos is because I do have defined stops, okay? And my defined stops are under the low on the candle on March 18th. So under the low of March 18th, that is, you know, basically your stop loss. And it's pretty easy setup, guys. Like you could go to almost any chart and you're gonna put your stop loss under the March, March 18 lows. We showed it in uh, in Ethereum, we showed it in Bitcoin, now we're showing it in Ripple. Um, we can show it, in, let's look at Litecoin. And I, I, if I looked at Litecoin, I think it's gonna have the same thing, the March 18th lows. So let's go to Litecoin. See, all these charts are gonna look the same, guys. Where you have a predefined stop loss if you're trading it, okay? You put your stop loss under the 318 low. And the low of Litecoin was 137.12. Right now we're at 150. So if I wanted to buy Litecoin, I know my stop loss. Okay, I'm gonna put it under that 318 low. I think we will take out the 318 low on everything. Um, and then I think we'll catapult back. So I think we're gonna take out that low here. It's so important. It doesn't look like it's that strong of a candle. You know, most possible short-term reversals, 
have a bigger tail and actually close on the highs. This is why I don't think this is that strong of a candle. So I think that we will break those lows, we'll have a reversal, maybe we get down to 220 billion market cap, maybe 230 billion market cap, and then we will, we will reverse. But I think in the short term, you know, if I had a gun in my head, I don't want to be, I wouldn't be looking to get long the space too much. So that is it for my portion of the day. Um, you know, I continue to be bullish. Whoa, I'm bullish long term. I'm bearish short term. So that's kind of my view here. Um, no, we, the crypto room will not be open on Friday, guys. The stock market is closed, so we will not be open on Friday. So just three more days after today. But that is your Bitcoin and crypto news for 326 2018. Bullish long term, bearish short term. Thanks, guys, and I'll see everybody tomorrow.